Okay guys, hi, welcome back to the last episode of, the, of this uh, series. I'm gonna like keep that in, I'm not gonna re-record that, cause I'm a thug. <laughs> and uh, so, okay, let's get into this. So we're gonna be using block map now. Um, oh, it's still the wrong one, okay. So we're gonna be using block map, you just, you know, put it right in there, just drag it in. and. Uh, let's get into this so basically what you need is you need three things just kind of like a um, just like the plant map plugin uh, basically it's very simple very laid out uh, probably the most simple out of all of them um, and so let's get right into it so the block we're gonna be replacing is glowstone because it's the easiest and I already got the selection tag on it um, if you need more information on the selection stuff just let me know I'll make probably another tutorial Basically, it's the same thing as uh, with the, uh, what's it called? It's the same thing as with the plant, uh, not plant map, as I shown in light map. Um, so I'm gonna get a, what am I getting? Glowstone. So I'm gonna go to my HDR block pack just because it's easy to do. And uh, all these are 3D blocks um, that I made and stuff. So if you want to go check that out, I have a selfie link in the description for that. And let's get into this. So we have our 3D glowstone, we have our block map plugin, and we have our 2D glowstone with the selection. And uh, if we look at that, you can see that it's just the top faces. You get the selection tool, and uh, you do select by no uh, polygon normal, and click apply, and it'll select these. Go to select, set selection, and bam, you get your orange triangle. If you need to see that again, uh, it's in the previous tutorial. It should be at like the beginning of the video. I have a, a thing right there. So uh, I also have maybe the last, the previous tutorial in the description or as an annotation on the screen, so that way you can go back and check that out right now. So uh, so after you get your selection done and stuff, you basically just plug things right in, just like the other ones. So basically, you put in your maps, glowstone. So we got that covered and you can see maybe there's like a tiny dot right there, which means it kind of worked. We put in our selection. You can do this pretty much in any order. Uh, and then we put in our 3D glowstone. And as you'll be able to tell, our glowstone is in, but for some reason, it's not exactly, a, it's not exactly right where the glowstone is. And that's because with some blocks, depending on whose block you use and stuff like that, uh, you might may have to do a little bit of positioning. This is fairly easy. Um, basically, you just go into whatever 3D block you have. In this case, it's going to be glowstone. Um, and you click on glowstone, right? Or you click on your block. You want to make sure you're in polygon face mode. That's this right here. And you press Control A or Command A if you're on Mac on the keyboard. And you'll see that it has the selection. If we turn off the test map, you'll be able to see that it's all selected like that. And what you want to do is you basically want to go to coordinates in uh, polygon face mode and just turn it to negative 50. Now you can't do this with the actual glowstone. You can't move this and uh, you can't really move uh, anything that like that, uh, unfortunately. So uh, this is usually pretty much the only way. If you don't want to do it this way, there is one other way. So you can either do the 50 degree thing, and you can see that it's totally mapped on. If we turn on, uh, or if we turn this off, you'll be able to see, actually maybe you can't turn it off, but anyways, it's mapped. <laughs> so that fixes that problem. And uh, if you don't want to do it that way, there should be, you should be able to do it this way too. Negative uh, 50, and uh, that positions uh, the old the old blocks down more. But as you can see, it just positions these where the old blocks used to be. And then you can just turn off uh, your your 2D glowstone. So if you have a hard time trying to figure out which one's which, I just usually put 2D in front of my maps glowstone, and I put 3D on the the 3D model. So that way I understand which one's which. Uh, 
so basically that's pretty much it you can do that and then once you do that it's pretty much easy from there you can do the same thing um, that you do in uh, the block map pl plugin sorry had a little bit of uh, lip stuff right there but uh, say I wanted maybe sand to be here if I wanted redstone to be here you can easily replace anything uh, with any you know any 3d block and it should map perfectly to it so that's pretty much that I mean it it's self uh, explanatory um, no real need to do anything it is somewhat laggy um, I may fix that but um, to, to help with the lag if you're using my blocks or if you're using anything with subdivision surface it's best to turn that off um, at least until you're rendering if you really need it on you can turn it on once you're about to render but it's best to have it off while you're in the viewport uh, because it'll be like this and if you turn it on you'll see that it's like this so and that's just because each one of these are getting a subdivision surface so each one is having its own subdivision surface its own uh, polygons are being subdivided and that's a real hassle when you're trying to animate and stuff so Unfortunately, there's no kind of tab I can set up for that. You're just gonna have to do that manually and just turn off subdivision surface if you have it. Uh, another easy way to do that is just to go in here and then do subdivision surface and then just off all them or whatever you have. So, uh, so that's pretty much block plugin. <laughs>